and welcome back folks to a let's play about Sift Duty game. Now first, I have no excuse, I've slacked off and uploads. I'm a slacker, I'm sorry, but we're, we're back. And we're gonna get back. Do this. It's a little laggy unfortunately. I can't remember where I am, I think I'm at where the where we just come back to the well not to the future, to the present. Well, in our respect it's the past year, it's nineteen eighty six, but anyway. Let's get it going. There's a May fifteenth, nineteen eighty six, let's have a look at this. When did we get a bug sapper? And indeed. Hey, anyone home? There's something wrong with my key. Maybe because you don't live there? Not now. Tomorrow. Give oh, me another day. Mm, what it's Marty, Dad. Open up. Marty? No, that's impossible. Marty was run out of town. That doesn't sound I've got good. I a bad feeling about this. Yeah, so do I, am I? Out of town? What are you talking about, Dad? Let me in. This is a trick. Go away. Leave us alone. Haven't we suffered enough? Mom. Um. Yeah, that's the one. Get Dave and Linda. They left town years ago, which you what? would know if you really were Marty. How can I convince you? Tell me something. Only Marty would know. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, the carpet. When I was eight, when I was eight years old, I set fire to the living room rug. <laughs> Reference to the first movie. Okay, game wise, right. I'm looking. Oh my lord, what are you waiting for, George? Let him in! Stupid locks. A lot of locks. Marty! Oh dear. Oh my god, Dad! What, what happened to you? What do you think happened, butthead? Aw, oh, Biff. Biff. Oh, Biff. I thought we told you to stay out of town, shrimp! Did you? Yeah. Are we going Whatever's shrimp? going on, I'm sure we can handle it. Damn it, game. Stop fucking out. Reasonably. Who are they? Eh, like you don't know Cliff and Riff. Well, just as ugly as you. What do you think we should do with them, baby bro? What we should have done years ago, big bro. I'm gonna enjoy this, McFly. Wait, wait. I'm trying to process here. What did you do to my dad? What the hell did you do to my dad? Your dad's been in that wheelchair since before you were born, butthead. And you better hope he has a spare, cause you're gonna need one in like three seconds! Dodge. Now there is a little Ooh. trick to this where you've gotta basically do this whole I thing in five question. jumps. I can't remember how to. But you get to up and did I get run out of town? Two years ago! Don't you remember? We made a deal that we'd go easier on your old man if you left. But now you're back! So the kid gloves can come off. <laughs> it probably would not to hear about that. Uh, let's try jump. Ooh. Hey! And another thing. What are you guys doing here anyway? It's that time of the month. Time for Georgie to pay up. We usually take the payment in cash, but this month we can take it out of your hide. I don't think so. <laughs> Tell me. Can't you pick on somebody else? We do! We pick on lots of guys! It's kind of our thing. I'm gonna jump. Ah. Oh. I think Here's what I still don't understand. How long have you been coming down to my dad like this? Ever since that school dance, when Georgie laid Biff out in the parking lot. He deserved uh, it. 
Shut up, it's not funny. Yeah, it is. Someone messes with the Tannen family, the Tannen family never lets him forget about it. Why do I have a really bad feeling about this? Dodge. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I've done it. That's how you do it. So now the Tannens are some kind of minor league mafia? Hey, watch who you're calling minor league. The Tannen gang's the fifth most dangerous crime family in California. We got connections all over the place. No way. You don't believe me? Oh dear. No! Bang! Ha <laughs> ha! Check it out! To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. It's Don Valenti, godfather of the Sacramento mob. The third most dangerous crime family in California. I'm gonna do it now, and that should do it. Oh, come on, game, stop slowing down. I think it, my laptop's dying. They're just as smart as ever, I see. Piece of cake. Thank you for the gun. I never should have let that floozy talk me out of rubbing out your grandfather. Huh? Oh, look who it is. Kid? No one in Hill Valley messes with the Tannen family. I'm going so old now. If it's the same gun for me. Oh, come on. Buddy, get in. This timeline's been compromised. You think? No kidding. Kid Tan to escape his day. No, you justice. do see Kid As looking at the door in there. But my laptop's been lagging out, so that's what I reckon to the second. Are oh, they in the first movie? Oh, yeah. Jeez, oh, they robbed the arcade. We've got to go back to the day Kid Tan was supposed to be arrested. Figure out what went wrong and fix it. Otherwise, you could be forever stuck in a town owned by the Tannins. Not an option, Doc. Punch it. I agree with you. Oh, well, that's kind of a reference to the end of Back to the Future 1 and the start of Back to the Future 2 where old Biff sees the DeLorean. Oh, sorry, the Biff of this timeline sees the DeLorean. And then in the second movie you see old Biff seeing the DeLorean. And that's how the main problem of the second movie starts. Damn it, why is that game so laggy? It never used to be that bad. Until my laptop's dying. Okay, Doc, let's run through this again. Sometime tonight, Kid Tan is supposed to be betrayed by his mole, the same name Pixie Trot. That hot babe I saw coming out of the speakeasy. Exactly. When she does, history says Tan will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. Parker? Parker? Hey, do you think he's related to Jennifer Parker, my girlfriend? Could be. Heavy. In any event, somehow we've changed history so that neither of these events happens. Condemning your family to generations of abuse at the hands of a Tannen crime family. We need to go back into Tannen's speakeasy, find out what's gone wrong, and get Kid Tannen arrested. No problem, Doc. Let me just put on my hat and I'm good to go. Is the mustache really necessary? It's essential. You can't let Kid know that you're the same troublemaker that foiled his attempt to kill me. Are you sure you can't come in with me? It's far too dangerous. You may be easy to disguise with your nondescript features, but ever since my daring escape from the police and the mob, my distinctive face has been plastered over every paper from here to Reno. Nondescript? I'll find a safe place to hunker down. That flop house ought to fit the bill. You can find me there if you need me. Oh, Frankenstein. 
Get into speaky. Oh, look who it is. It's Manuel. Oh, well, Edna. What the? Looks like Emmett's been up. Well, it looks like Emmett's been busy. Hmm. My father's exactly what I'm at. Talk to Edna, shall I? Pardon me, sir. From the way you're dressed and your general aura of seediness, I can infer only one thing. You're heading for Tannen's speakeasy. Am I right? No. Uh, no? At least you possess enough shame to lie about it. Always with a lie all of some. Unfortunately, I don't have the power to stop you, but I beg you to tarry here a few more seconds and listen to my song. Me, 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 me. Self respect, but you should care. Good time In heaven's awful. name. Oh, sorry, Miss Strickland. Just a little experimental prototype gone momentarily awry. Mr. Brown, why is there a dog in that vehicle? Why? Oh, well, to advance the human condition, of course. Hello, Sonny. Sonny? Mr. Crockett, what are you doing in that getup? I'm going in the. I'm going undercover. How exciting! You'll have to give me an exclusive sometime. I'll right now, I've I don't got think some souls to save. And you'll have to get an eyeful of my newest experiment. You're not angry about the rocket drill? Water over the bridge. I've done the wall. bigger and better things. Come by the gazebo when you get a chance. I'll be setting up. You won't believe what Annie and I have been up to. Famous last words. All right. Now, where's that speakeasy? Maybe I should go talk. Sonny, you're just in time. How have you been? How have you been, Emmett? I know I haven't seen you in a couple of months. I'm great, and I owe it all to you. Really? Yes. That argument I had with my father during our jet drill experiment gave me the incentive to finally quit coach. that dreary. Sorry about that, folks. I think I'll bring the washing in. All right. Okay, I'm over huh. So, uh, thanks for watching Einstein while I've been yeah. away. It's been a pleasure. He's proven to be a surprisingly willing test subject. It's almost as if he's been working with me for years. More like, like decades. Young mama, decades. What are you doing? What's the story with the little car and all this equipment? L Einstein and I are conducting a few experiments with this one quarter scale model to work out a few hitches in my planned demonstration at the Hill Valley Expo in a couple of months. A radio controlled car? No. Well, yes, but there'll be so much more than that. It will amaze the world. Aha! Got it! Got what? I'll show you! Ready to go, Einstein? This looks a little familiar. Watch this! When this baby hits 23 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious cow flop. I just love all the references to put in there. Why is that? Einstein! Oh, get him out of here! Don't worry. I've got a fail safe eject mechanism around here someplace. See? Nothing to worry about. Nothing. He's now stuck in a room. I'll go see if I can find something to help. Or someone. There's someone like. Old dock. Ah, oh, that's how you're gonna remember now. Controls are a bit funny. Hey, Doc. How's the room? It's a little cleaner than I would have imagined for a depression era flop house. How are your investigations going? Why didn't you tell me I'd run into your younger self tonight? Because I don't remember being out here tonight. Clearly your interactions with my younger self two months ago have slightly altered my personal timeline. I never had the nerve to perform public experiments like he's doing. No matter, those experiments will be forgotten once I've seen Frankenstein. Frankenstein? Yes. Right now my younger self is fiddling around out there with rocket propulsion systems for his demonstration at the expo. The thing that'll kick off your scientific career. Exactly. 
Now, the rockets are a horrible idea, and I'll soon realize that they'll never work. But eventually, I'll wander into that movie theater and see Frankenstein and clear my mind. I've kept the ticket stub from that movie in my wallet ever since. See? Why? Because it's during this movie that I'll have the inspiration for my breakthrough at the expo. It doesn't have anything to do with reanimating the dead, does it? Not the way you're thinking, no. But during that famous scene when Colin Clive turned the wheel that raised that shrouded figure into the tower and that bolt of lightning struck, well, let's just say more than one brain was reanimated that night. Hmm. Uh, where did you park the DeLorean? I hid it in a DeSoto lot. Nobody's buying cars these days, so it should be safe in there. And it's not having much luck getting Einstein off the courthouse. I'm not surprised. Einstein's a smart dog, but heights give him the willies. What can we do? Hmm. I got it. What? Just get my younger self distracted, and I'll handle the rest. Okay, we'll do that. Just keep your head low, Doc. I'll be back soon. I'll keep an eye out for your grandfather. Let's talk to Emmett. Let's talk to Emmett. Don't worry, Emmett. I'm sure you'll get it right someday. Oh, I'm not worried about that. Right now, I'm more concerned with Einstein. That's nice. What went wrong with your rocket car? I'm not entirely sure. As soon as we get Einstein down, I'm gonna go look for it. What's up with you and Edna? A couple months ago, I could swear she was making goo-goo eyes at you. That was before my father had her stay sober society meeting thrown out of our house. Now she takes every opportunity she can get to snipe at me in my work. It's very distracting. Do you know anything about Officer Danny Parker? My pop says he's a good cop when he's not drinking. Good. Of course, now I hear he drinks all the time. Why don't you go look for your car now? And leave Einie stuck on the ledge? <laughs> Never! Dogs are much more important than any silly rocket car. Especially one that doesn't work at all. Why don't you take a break from Einstein Patrol for a minute? Maybe go see a movie or something. Thanks for the offer, Sonny. When one Emmett Lathrop Brown sets his mind on a task, nothing can distract him from his purpose. No, that... Right now, that purpose is rescuing your dog. Now, that's very interesting, folks, because the Emmett... Doc's middle name is only ever mentioned in the animated series. You never see well, it in any I'll of the other movies. I'll see if I can get some help. So that's you very that. interesting. I'll stay here and see if I can think of a way to get Einie off that ledge. Now, I think we're going to have to go talk to Edna for this. Me thinks. Hey, Edna. Mr. Crockett, what can I do for you? Hey, I got a hot lead for you. Oh, what is it? Young scientist strands dog on courthouse roof. What? Look over there. Oh, for goodness sake. Mr. Brown! Please, Miss Strickland, not now. Can't you see I've got a rather delicate situation on my hands at the moment? My trial run... Trial run? Public hazard, I call it. And I'm sure my editor will agree. This scientific enterprise of yours represents a clear and present danger to public you know safety. It represents a clear and present danger to public safety. Your singing voice. There's no need to get personal, Mr. Brown. Believe me, I have no intention of getting personal with you. I'm relieved to hear it. Flying cars, but all the ridiculous juvenile notions. You mock notions. me, but just imagine. A world in which traffic jams and car crashes are a thing of the past. Well, I might be more inclined to listen to you if your maiden voyage had not ended in a crash on one roof and a stranded dog on another. I'm working on getting him down. Heine, how'd you get down? Clever dog. Well... Fortune favors you tonight, but I warn you to be more careful in the future. Now, how to get that rocket car back down? Well, that's one problem solved. I think I'm gonna leave it there though for now, so... I've been good games. Thank you for watching, and look forward to the rest of the Back to the Future game series. Thanks for watching, folks.